Hi, I'm Paul Sartre here. Welcome to the fall edition of Heart of Gold from OWL, Opportunity for Work and Learning, David Boggs and Margaret Cornelison. Welcome. Thank you. You've been on before. I have. You've got that TV face <laughs> and all ready to go. Um, I'm glad we've had you on before. OWL, Opportunity for Work and Learning. Uh, for the people that don't know what that is, David, tell them what OWL is and what you all do. Thank you, Paul, and thank you for having us on again. You're welcome. Uh, OWL or OWL was started in 1961 as a nonprofit agency to assist individuals with barriers to employment such as physical, mental, or even economic uh, barriers to, to help them get established in the workplace and get started. And, and since that time we've had over 20,000 people go mm. through our program and it just keeps growing and expanding every year and, and we look forward to sharing some of our new opportunities with you tonight. Well we've got plenty of time to do it. In the last year about how many people have gone through OWL that you've helped? Well we, we actually have about uh, 250 people a year that uh -huh. go through our programming. Uh -huh. uh, our emphasis uh, for the most part is job training. However there's other programs where individuals come to us for maybe a vocational evaluation or just some temporary empor uh, employment, work adjustment, or other reasons to come to our facilities for a short time. Not everybody comes for long-term employment. And Mark, you're out there in the field making things happen. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult for you to tell the story about OWL if people don't know? And how do, you, how do you tell the story that they think, yeah, this is a great cause, we need to help them? Um, usually you just start by asking them about them, you know, mm -hmm. tell me about you. Um, and then very quickly you'll learn about their needs or their interest and then you can bring up OWL, talk about the things we do. Um, the things we do are, is expanding very rapidly lately so um, usually you find a connection there that they can understand and they're like, oh I need to know more about that, can I come for a tour? And then so you go from there. And once you attack, once you grab their heart you've got them. Sure. The core of what OWL is or was and you said it's expanding. Mm -hmm. What was it and now what's it becoming? Well when it first started it was strictly a facility where people with physical or mental disabilities or barriers uh, came and it was their employment site. They came there uh, just like we go to any other industry and work all day long. They would come there and work and that would be, that was their goal in life, to have a job and have employment. And so once they were there, they were there as long as they decided to be employed. And over the years, it segued to now, the whole main emphasis is employment training. And then they can work there within our manufacturing environment, or they can go out into the workforce into various positions within our communities. Mm -hmm. if, if OWO is not around as a stepping stone to get from where they were to where they want to be, mm -hmm. what, where's the safety net? Who's there to help them? Well, there's, um, you know, there's resources in Lexington, but the things that we do at OWL isn't just, it's not a social service where they're right. getting what they need today. Yes. Um, what we do is prepare people for their futures to make sure that they can live, uh, you know, a sustaining life the same as we do, mm -hmm. uh, being contributing members of society, uh, learning the importance of volunteerism, as well as working and paying taxes and all of those things. So there's, we are the safety net. If we don't exist, mm -hmm. there isn't a safety net. Your building is off of Newtown Pike. Correct. Mm -hmm. Tell people the magic that happens inside there. What, what jobs do they do? I know you bid on jobs. People don't give you contracts. No. You, you earn them. Yes. So what kinds of things do you, and what companies do you help with? Uh, we competitively bid on all the jobs that uh, we do in-house. Right now we're doing work for 30 different companies. Uh, we do projects uh, for Cintas. Mm -hmm. uh, we do projects for Snyder Electric, Train, mm -hmm. Wabasto, Neogen, uh, several of the major manufacturing groups here in Central Kentucky we do work mm -hmm. for. And I know with the evolving economy, things are changing to more technology. I know you did some things with Lexmark, IBM years ago mm -hmm. with their printers, mm -hmm. but you've got to stay in the forefront of what's happening, otherwise you're not going to get the contracts. Absolutely, yeah. Um, as far as our manufacturing plant goes, um, it, it's grown and we've realized the necessity, and well I guess we've always known the necessity of making sure that we have lots of contracts, but that's just one piece of art what we do. 
Um, at OWL, we have uh, in the Al Center, the rehab center, uh, we've expanded our services, our programs. We have several new programs I'd like to talk about. Uh, one is for uh, youth that are out of school between 16 and um, 24. Mm -hmm. Um, and that program has allowed us to not only take referrals from lots of different areas and different means, but to provide more services. It's not just about job placement. Uh, I know traditionally that's what we're known for, but in this program we can help them with career counseling and exploration, mm. job exploration, mm. uh, really learning what they want to do as they mm -hmm. become adults and helping them along the way to kind of adjust to being an adult and different responsibilities, that type of thing. And how many people are involved in that program right um, now? We, right now we have nine. It's a new program. Brand new. Uh, right. Brand new. We have nine. Uh, we can take 20. Mm -hmm. uh, but the follow-up with that is, is pretty lengthy, so we always want to take more than what we're being paid to take, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just so that we can have the numbers that we need to show that we're doing good work and that we're helping people become successful. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one new program. We also have a program for reentry, and it's for anybody 18 or over who has been out of work for a while and they need help getting back mm -hmm. into the workforce, whether it's just fear of stepping back into mm -hmm. it or a disability or injury or it could even be incarceration or whatever the mm -hmm. case may be. They need help going back to work. We provide uh, one of two training programs, either a customer service representative certification program mm -hmm. or a forklift certification program. Mm -hmm. And once they complete one or the other program, uh, then we would do job placement with them as well. We also help them with the life skills along the way, that type of thing. Um, and uh, that's a brand new program as well. I think we have maybe six in that program. Uh, we've had several do our customer service training program, um, and we have several getting ready to do the forklift training program in that, so we're really excited about that one as well. We also have uh, a contract with uh, the, the SNAP employment and training program, and SNAP is Supplemental Nutrition mm -hmm. Assistance Program, uh, food stamps, what most people know it by. But it's to help those individuals that are required to do a work program to actually have the, the services they need and the training and the skill sets to become self-sufficient so that they can come off the benefit roll um, and be able to take care of themselves in the future. So, um, and that program is getting ready to expand come October 1. We're really excited about it, a little nervous too, because uh, I imagine there will be a lot of folks that need the services and they'll have access to them. So, For the young people that are out of work, mm -hmm. out of school, the 18 year olds and up, yes, the high school age kids and up, mm -hmm. and then the SNAP, how are you getting the word out to those folks that you've got these programs? Well, one of the things that uh, we are constantly doing is networking, just like uh, your gracious of uh, allowing us to be on your show tonight. <laughs> but uh, we're always attending chamber events, mm -hmm. school events, uh, meeting with the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation Counselors, meeting with uh, individuals that work with different agencies that services this population and provide services to them because these are some services that they do not have available to mm -hmm. them through their organization. Mm -hmm. So we complement each other and even share referrals back and forth with each other. If you would then at this time give your website and phone number that for anybody that mm -hmm. either is in that situation or knows somebody, where would they go to get information? Okay, our, our website mm -hmm. is simply <clears throat> OWL inc.net owlinc.net and then our phone number is 859-254-0576 and we we're welcome people to call us or go and uh, check us out on the website and th they can just type in Al Inc and find mm -hmm. us and uh, it, it'll provide information about all the programs Margaret's discussed and also uh, any other services that Al provides. And if they think that they may be eligible for one of our programs, they're welcome to come in. Uh, we have a simple form they can fill out so that we can identify right. them and, and try to Is that to get form them. online as well or no? It is, okay. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It would be very easy to be complacent that mm -hmm. you've been with Owl for 10 years, you've seen it grow, a lot of it to the effort of you two and your team. It's, it would be easy to sit back and just keep the machine going. But to come up with these new ideas, to make a bigger impact on the community, whoever's behind that, 
good for you for doing it. Yeah. Well, I think everybody at OWL has a hand in that because we value input from everyone who works there. Mm -hmm. um, we have a great team of staff. Um, they're just awesome, very creative. They think outside the box probably way more than I ever do, you know, and, and they'll come with ideas and, and it's great. So it really is a team effort. Yeah, it's, it's important for our, our, our programs. They are all so different that we have in-house, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they all complement each other. Mm -hmm. uh, just like our manufacturing program uh, is, is totally uh, dependent upon people that walk in the door that need our services. Mm -hmm. And once they come in and fill out that application in the form that she's talking about, then we look at it as a team approach and say, mm -hmm. where can we best meet this individual's needs? Mm -hmm. I know there were a lot of things you wanted to cover, and I want to make sure we cover them all, but I, and if we didn't, let me know. But Margaret, you go out and you raise money for OWL. You are active in the community of getting grants and that type of thing. Yes. Is that a big challenge for you? And what doors could be opened with this mm -hmm. program to say we need your help? Well, yes, you know, it's always a challenge to find the right um, opportunity. Uh, there's lots of grants and contracts and things like that out there, but they typically have a very specific thing that they're looking for to serve or to support. Um, and so that is a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge when you find one getting it com completed and mm -hmm. submitted on time mm -hmm. uh, with all those other job duties you have. Um, but really just getting the word out about who we are and where we're at, even though we've been here since 1961, every day I hear somebody say, oh, I didn't know you existed. So really just uh, sharing the word about us and coming and taking a tour, um, learning the good work that we're doing. We work really hard um, and our successes show. We have mm -hmm. some fantastic successful stories that, that we've gotten to enjoy lately and so just getting the word out. Give the website and phone number one more time and I want to ask you if that woman is still there. Yes, our website is www.owlinc.net. Is the elderly lady still there? Sally. Yes, uh, yeah. Miss, Miss Sally is still uh, how, how old is she? I'm not allowed to tell women's age. <laughs> is she over 75? She's older than you. Yeah. That's old. She's older than yeah. 75. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. yeah Sal Sally is... Uh, in her 70s, and she is such a tremendous asset for our organization. Yes. Uh, because of her uh, disabilities, uh, she, she does not let that stop her from coming to work or hinder her in any way in her job performance. It gives her reason to come out of bed to see Absolutely. you two and yes. all the other folks at OWL. Absolutely. Margaret, thank you, and David, you. you as well. Thank you. Keep doing great things at OWL. I'm really proud of both of you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Paul Chartier. We'll be right back on Heart of Gold.